Floor mastic and adhesive is some of the hardest stuff to remove in your entire house. However, if you have hardwood that has been covered up by layers of tile and carpet, you'll need to remove the adhesive underneath if you want to expose the original hardwood. In this video, I'll test some different methods and show you the best way to remove black mastic floor adhesive. Now, before you get started, you'll want to make sure you're not dealing with asbestos, and it's often found in 9x9 tiles like this. In my case, I got lucky because these tiles and mastic came back negative when I did the test. The contenders are a 4-inch manual floor scraper, a gallon of floor adhesive remover, a steam mop, and a wallpaper remover steam gizmo. All the links are in the description. Let's get started and see which one works the best. Up first is the manual floor scraper. And there's no point at which you can get under it and scoop it up. You just have to shave every last molecule of this junk off. Okay, it's clear already that the hand scraper just isn't going to cut it. Not only can I not get everything off the wood, but this is really difficult and is taking too long. Next up is the steam mop. This was my wife's idea, and it was great because we happen to already have one of these around the house. The steam mop heats up instantly, and I just use a putty knife to scrape the floor clean, and then use the shop vac to clean up the shavings and an old towel to mop up all this beige, grayish liquid. The only downside turns out to be that it doesn't hold very much water, and I ran out after about five minutes, but in terms of removing the adhesive, so far so good. Compared to the hand scraper, this is working a thousand times better at dislodging the adhesive from the hardwood. I was just about to get started testing this floor adhesive remover, but when I started reading the instructions, I found something that I really didn't like. This stuff only covers 40 square feet of floor area per gallon jug, which means that at $30 a jug to cover 400 square feet of floor, I'm looking at $300. It's way too expensive, so I'm gonna save everybody some time and money and just move on to the next contestant. So this wallpaper remover performs a lot like the steam mop. It does take longer to warm up. However, it also holds a lot more water and this steamer covers a bigger area at once. Also, because it's more portable, it's easier to wield and move around than the steam mop is. It's obviously way better than the hand scraper and it's way cheaper than the adhesive remover chemical because all you need to run it is water. And this is starting to look like a real floor here and I haven't even done any sanding or other treatment or anything. And unlike the hand scraper, which puts a lot of little chips all over the floor, steaming avoids that and keeps the floor nice and smooth with minimal damage. So I think we have a winner here. This Wagner 725 wallpaper remover isn't too expensive. It's easy to use and it works. But if you all you have available is a steam mop, that'll work pretty good also. Check out my other DIY videos and see you next time.